This week, the IFA returns to the redfish rich waters of Homa, Louisiana, for the IFA Lucas Oil yeah, Redfish baby. Open, presented by Cabela's, a two day team tournament featuring the best inshore anglers in the country, battling it out for their share of the more than $45,000 purse. The Inshore Fishing Association and Cabela's present the oldest, largest, and most prestigious red fishing tournament series in the nation, the IFA Redfish Tour. Homa, Louisiana has become a regular stop for the IFA Redfish Tour. Located less than 60 miles southwest of the Big Easy, Homa can easily be considered the gateway to some of the finest redfishing in the country. This week, the IFA is launching the first of two Lucas Oil Redfish Open events for the 2016 season. This is a team tournament. It's uh, more of our elite anglers that come to these. It's a higher buy-in. It's all cash payout for this weekend. There's a lot of excitement going into this because you get some of the, the top tier guys that are going to fish this uh, tournament. These guys are just top notch. There's no denying that. These guys are some of the best there is. And they're all the best of the best. Guys from Texas, South Carolina, Florida, Louisiana. The homeboys here that are from Louisiana are tough to beat. These guys know where the fish are at. They know where the clarity of the water is best at. All the time, their networking system is unreal that they have here. So going against the hometown boys, it's going to be tough to beat them but uh, we're gonna do our best to give them a shot. Up against a strong field of local anglers, Florida's Chris Morelli and Kurt Shader have their work cut out for them. Here we go. Uh, this morning, we're gonna go waste some time doing some popping forks, maybe get lucky, get a fish or two, and uh, feel confident coming into the afternoon. But the afternoon bite, if uh, we have some nice skies and we have some sun out here, the wind lays down for us, should be pretty good on the bite, hopefully for us. We'll get back to Shader and Morelli shortly. Next up, we'll check in on Slidell, Louisiana's Bobby Lamy and Sydney Cantelli. I don't want you right on the shore. There's, there's a grass line on that, uh, off that shore. Okay. So you cast about 10 to 15 feet off. There you go, right, right there. Lamy and Cantelli made a long run south in search of clean water. Got him. Throwing Berkeley Gulf soft plastics on a weighted jig head, Bobby Lamy hooks into the first fish in the morning. All right. How are we, Sydney? Sorry, Sydney. <laughs> good fish. I don't think he's an eight pounder, but he's a good fish. Huh? He's a good fish, but he's not an eight pounder. Just put him in a lob well. It takes a little bit of the pressure off of you to get a fish in a lob well. Uh, especially early, so we're just gonna keep moving on. He's obviously not the right size or the size that we're looking for, but we're gonna keep him because, hey, you don't know what the weather's gonna do and what happens to some of the other anglers that are fishing the tournament. Six and a half. How many? Six and a half. Six and a half? Feels really good. Get one in the live well. I, I thought for sure he was bigger than that. Yeah, he ran like he was big. We're just getting started with day one of the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open presented by Cabela's. Stay with us, there's a lot of tournament coverage ahead. It's in our stomping grounds and our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment it's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Every curve, 
Edge, line, and feature is designed for one quest, to seek, find, follow, and catch fish. It's all part of the Take Charge mission of the Ranger Saltwater Series. Experience the total performance difference at a Ranger dealer today. Whether you're trolling, bowling, drifting, anchored, or chasing the tide, these shallow water legends are built to fish as well as fly. Yamaha Outboards, you love the water, now own it. Hobie's Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride. The ultimate predator has evolved again. Now, Yamaha VMAX SHO Performance is prowling the waters in four hungry, exciting new models. With their four valves per cylinder and double overhead cam fuel injected design, these advanced four stroke predators are taking performance to a whole new level. Vicious, lean, efficient. VMAX SHO, the pack is growing. The IFA Redfish Tour is presented to you by Cabela's, it's in your nature, by Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here, and by Ram Trucks, guts, glory, Ram. Welcome back to day one of the 2016 IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open presented by Cabela's. We'll get right back to tournament coverage with Slidell's Bobby Lamy and Sidney Cantelli. Leaving takeoff in Homa, Lamy and Kintelli made a long run south in search of clear water. You know, we, we're sitting in a pond, it's got a lot of grass. Um, so you want to, we, we're throwing weedless stuff, we're throwing a gold spoon, which will give it a little bit of flash, especially with low sunlight, you'll get a, a better reaction bite. Uh, and then we throw in a weedless gulp um, which has the scent on it that kind of helps you in, in a low light situation as well. Oh, there he is. High winds and rain earlier in the week have muddied the shallows, making it difficult for the sight fishermen. Most teams will be biding their time casting through the morning, just waiting for the sun to rise enough so they can there see is. their got targets. Him? Yeah. Right. Oh, nope. I don't know. There you got him, huh? He's yeah, running to him. you? Yeah, I got him. <clears throat> got something. Well, I don't small. know. Small. <laughs> what? It's, oh, no. It's small. That's right. All right, Sidney. Uh, you know, that, that takes a, that takes more pressure off of you than having just one in the boat. You know, we're still gonna call. And it's hard to, to know when to stop on day one. I don't think you can win it on day one. You can only lose it. Um, but we're gonna continue on. We don't wanna beat up the area too much in case we do find some really good fish because it's a two-day tournament. While Lamy and Cantelli reset, we'll check in on the Yamaha team of Shader and Morelli. I haven't seen any movement, any uh, uh, dead. any wakes or anything here. The other day when we got in here, we had fish riding the surface. We had fish blowing up on bait in here. That was Sunday. We sort of left this alone. Was it Sunday? Yeah, because we had uh, Dan with us. We decided not to come back to the rest of the week. We just knew it was going to be a a spot we're gonna come pop a cork first thing in the morning. We got a couple little spots over here that we'll go in and out of and see if we can pick up a fish or two. But our main goal is to go sight cast here. It's about six miles back towards the boat ramp where we're gonna go sight cast, but we gotta get that sun up a little bit higher. Tournament coverage from the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open presented by Cabela's will continue from Homa, Louisiana right after these messages. We've made our name helping anglers unlock the water's hidden secrets. 
It's a switch. It's time to reveal even more. Auto Chart Live gives you the power to build your own high definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Because when you know the unknown, you can do the unheard of. Auto Chart Live, only with Onyx, only from Humminbird. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are. But now the silence is about to break. With the incredible iPilot link, your Minn Kota and Humminbird can communicate with each other. So you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any depth contour, and more. All automatically and all from your Humminbird or the link remote. They talk and you'll be speechless. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Boat US, take us with you on the water. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Lucas Oil, it works. Welcome back to Homa, Louisiana for day one of the 2016 Lucas Oil Redfish Open presented by Cabela's. We'll pick up tournament coverage from the Florida team of Chris Morelli and Kurt Shader. You know, the key is getting two really good solid fish. Don't try to push the envelope on the first day and then uh, depending how far you are behind or whatever, then you can decide what to do if you take a chance on, you know, a fish that's going to weigh. There's one, big one, big one. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a little guy. A little guy. All right, pulls down. I'll go down and get him. I'm just going to hand him my pole. He was cruising down the edge, and uh, we just threw it right in front of him, dropped it down on his nose, and he chewed on an eight. We've seen probably 15 fish in here the other day tailing, so we got him to eat. Hopefully, we get him today. I hate to say it, but put him in the live well. I agree, I agree. Good cast, Chris. In this event, anglers are looking for fish that fall within Louisiana's slot limit of 16 to 27 inches. Little guy. Kurt Cheddar will put this Start. one in the live well, but they'll be looking to call him out for days in. Key here is the weedless presentation, trying to stay out of the weeds using the weight. This wind makes it a little more difficult to cast this stuff, so you want to at least put an eight ounce weight, maybe even a quarter ounce weight on there, uh, weedless, so um, hopefully you can get a little bit more accuracy that way. We'll check back with Shader and Morelli shortly, but for now, we'll catch up with Bubby Lamy and Sidney Cantelli. He's over here. Whatever that is, just swam to the side. The cloud cover is hampering the sight fishing and they're relegated to casting to wakes and blow ups. Did you it's stop? Not what they hope for, but they know that they're around fish. Guess their what? I got will eventually <laughs> pay off. Hi, right, Sid. Uh, right here, right here. You ready? You got him? Got him. He's been a little better, huh? Oh, yeah, he's better. What is it? It's almost five. Yeah. I mean, dude, sooner or later, we're going to stick one. I mean, dude, just it's on, keep it up. Closer to launch, Shader and Morelli have hooked into fish number two. So far, it's a game of ounces. Here, you want, it's just the same size. 
That one over there, I just saw a flicker, just a flicker on, you know, you, you gotta take a shot at it, and it was a, it was a red. He's a little guy, but the way the day's going, we'll take him, he's gold. Now the small ones are here. We're looking for those big ones. We had some eight and a half pounders here the other day, and uh, they're tailing in front of us. Hopefully today we can find them. Hopefully they're still in this cut. It's just a small cut, and if they're here, it should be good for us. Stay with us. There's more from Homa, Louisiana, and day one of the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open presented by Cabela's coming up. The Lucas Hull Upper Cylinder Lubricant Fuel Treat. This is an incredible product that's gonna treat up to 25 gallons of fuel, both diesel and gasoline. Lucas Oil has outfitted the angler with a group of products that just are tailor-made for these outboards. You know, one thing I trust in my boat is Lucas Oil Upper Cylinder Lubricant. It's a tune-up in the bottle. It has a powerful blend of additives and contains no solvents. Trust me, it increases horsepower. It cleans injectors. It increases fuel mileage. Lucas Oil Upper Cylinder Lubricant and Fuel Treatment. It increases life in pumps and injectors. If you're looking for a tune-up in a bottle, the Lucas Oil Upper Cylinder Lubricant treats up to 25 gallons of fuel, and you're basically going to be guaranteed maximum power and fuel economy. The Lucas Oil Upper Cylinder Treatment, it's what I use. Hey, it's tune-up in a bottle. Here's the Rancher Boats question of the week. To find out the answer, go to mydreamrig.com. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Pen, let the battle begin. Some days, the biggest rush of all is feeling really, really small. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. Lucas Oil Marine Products, established by performance, built on quality, and proven on land and sea. Lucas Marine Products offer a complete lineup of outboard engine oils, fuel treatments, lubricants, and boat care products. Expect optimal performance from your investment by using Lucas Marine Products. Available at Cabela's. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Minn Kota Trolling Motors. Anywhere, anytime. By Hobie Fishing. By Pure Fishing. Built with innovation, fueled by passion, and by General Tire, anywhere is possible. 
Welcome back to tournament coverage. We're in the waiting hours of day one competition from the IFA Lucas Oil Redfish Open presented by Cabela's. And we're on board with Florida's Chris Morelli and Kurt Shader. They've got two small reds in the live well and are looking for an upgrade. This is where these fish were tailing the other day. Yeah, get over to the left. Hmm, there's one right there. Big one. Oh, that's a big one. That's what we want right there. Eat, baby. Eat, baby. Eat, baby. Eat, baby. It's a pig. Power pulls down. It's a pig. It's better. It's not a pig yet. It's better, though. I think it's be much better. It's definitely a $10 fish. Oh, come on, baby. A second, Chris. Yeah, baby. That's what we're looking for. That's right what we're there. looking for. It takes a lot off of us. We just came through that patch. We've seen probably good 10, 15 fish in there. They want to bite. We came in this little area. He, he ate. So we need one more good fish. I think we can go drift back through that and get one of those fish. If we can, we're done for the day. Weighing close to seven and a half pounds, that's a good upgrade for Shader and Morelli, adding more than two pounds to their day one total. Moving south, we'll check back with the Louisiana team of Lamy and Kintelli. Yesterday scouting, I found some quality fish here. They were a little bit bigger. Uh, wind has got us. Uh, we're trying to slow us, ourselves down to, so we can uh, fish every inch of this shoreline. I know they're here. They were here. We'll find out if they're still here. That wind's picked up. That's probably about 25, 30 miles an hour. Damn. You got him. Oh, yeah. It's a nice one, too. That's a good one. You know? You lost him. I told you, I'll never let you let it down. Get on down here and sit in the back of the boat. <laughs> You're punished. You got to be kidding me. He just came off. You're punished. <sighs> but that, that spoon seems to be working pretty good. What do you think happened? You think because when he ran under the boat? Yeah. Yeah. But you got to get him in, dude. I did, uh, last one I popped the line, I didn't want to try it on it, and I'm using braided. You want me to tie your knots? <laughs> <laughs> Despite losing a couple of fish, the gold spoon is paying off for this Ranger Yamaha team. In these cloudy and did. muddy conditions, the spoon can still provide a maximum flash and underwater oh, vibration. got him, Sydney. I got him. He's a good one, too. Don't lose that fish. Sidney, come around, come around, run around. All right. Oh, he might be over. You got him. I think, he, I think he's gonna be good. Oh, he's under, dude. Yes. Put him up, put him up. Good. I would jump down and give you a kiss, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> if we catch one more of that size, we're out of here. We'll leave everything else for tomorrow. So I, I feel really good about that fish. I'd like to get one more about his weight, and then we're going to leave. We're, we're going to play it safe, take what we got, weigh in, see where, where the chips fall, and then we'll get back at them in the morning. As predicted, the bite is picking up with the afternoon sun. Unfortunately for teams like Lamy and Cantelli, they have to factor in the 90-minute run back to Wagon, losing valuable fishing time. With check-in drawing there, we'll rejoin Shader and Morelli one last time. They've got two keepers in the well. Go, 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 An upgrade go, go, go. here could put them in Keep contention. He's right down in the... Okay, I got him out of the weeds. Turn the pot. I got you. I got you. I got you. We're good. We're good. We're Hurry good. Hurry up. Got him. 
He's That's definitely big. bigger than the other one. Yeah. But look how orange this fish is. Oh, look at how orange this fish is. That's what we're looking for. Look at how fat he is. <laughs> you hit the trolling motor, and as soon as he hit the trolling motor, that fish spooked from the corner. Then he stopped, and I, I threw it right to where I thought he stopped, and boom. Ah, oh, man, that's a twenty-dollar fish. <laughs> that's what it's all about here in uh, Louisiana, for sure. Good job, Kurt. Give some fives. We have our next team, Yamaha team, Kurt Shader and Chris Morelli. Back at weigh-in, Kurt Schrader and Chris Morelli weighed their two fish for just over 15 pounds, putting them in 11th place. Bobby Lamy and Sidney Cantelli brought two for 13.91 in the 17th place finish going into day two. Locking up fifth was a team of Nick Drangle and Chris Howell with two fish for 16 pounds. Eddie Adams and Dwayne Eschete are always a favorite at these events, and they didn't disappoint catching two for 16.07 in fourth place. Third place went to Pierre DeBoard, Ronnie Smith. With their two fish pushing the scales at 16.28. Another good solid fish showing why home of Louisiana Terrebonne Parish is the way to go. And locking up the top spot on day one was a team from St. Augustine, Florida, Marty Simmons and Keith McBride. Gonna start off with an 847, 847. Great job on day one. Keep us see if you got another one to back it up. Y'all need 861 to take the lead right now. We'll see what it's going to go. How about a 914 right there? 1761. That's your day one leader right there. Under tough conditions, Marty Simmons and Keith McBride are your leaders for day one of the 2016 Lucas Oil Redfish Open from Homa, Louisiana. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10. I was pretty nervous there for a little bit. We had two big fish, so uh, feeling real good about it right now. So we got to do it, you know, tomorrow as well. We know we're gonna pray for a little sun to shine so that we can see some fish a little bit and uh, hopefully find some clearer water than we did today, so. A big thanks to the city of Homa and the Homa Quality Hotel for hosting this event. If you'd like to know more about the IFA Redfish Tours, the Opens, or the Kayak Events, please visit ifatours.com. The Cabela's IFA Redfish Tour is a Careco TV production.